a rose in the twilight. Or a twilight in a rose, I don't know. But um, I've never played, oh, I've never heard anything about this game. So I've just got it in my Steam library for some reason. I thought, hey, this sounds interesting. Uh, I, all I've heard about it from reviews is that it's really good. Well, that's one. And there's a lot of death. So, hey, that's pretty much all you need me to get me interested in other than the anime aspect. Well, I've got nothing else to say, so let's go for it. I thought I'd be able to change settings or anything, but okay. I'm going straight into the game. That's nice. Let's change the pace. Okay, from the outset of it, it, look, it feels kind of like a... You know how like a picture book, like those kind of flip books, that's what they're called, I think. Uh, it feels like that. So, oh, a and, well, sorry, W and S don't really do much. Let's check what the menu is. There's a map. Dungeon 1. There's multiple dungeons in this. Okay. That's good enough, let's head off. The girl looks very depressed. I don't know what that is on her back, actually. I can't really tell. Is it a plant or a... Ah, oh, she moves despairingly slow. Oh, left click, okay. I was wondering, I was thinking Jay's a bit... Awkward to press. Alright. Is that all? Is that all the jumps she could do? Dungeon. So I can't really go on top of these rocks. These are environment. Wait, that said something important. Let's see plus minus. Hey, look at that. Now that's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that before it gets a bit trippy for me. The background looks amazing though, so far at least. It's hot, awkward for me to like get used to the controls still, because for doing this, I can't really tell where I'm going. <laughs> Was I supposed to? Was I supposed to jump over that? Alright, so I can't the boulder blocks the path, so I have to go this way probably. Oh man. Right. So I see I have to jump over these tiny stones ish. I thought this was like a I'm not sure if so far it feels like a platformer, but I like I say I have no idea what this game is. Thorn power. You found a note about a about the cursed thorns. Check the collection screen for details. Okay, absorb what? Okay. Oh, there's blood. Okay, one second before I go to that, I want to go to the collection, see what that is. Thorn Research Diary. Thorn Research Diary 1. I am cursed by the thorns. Due to that, people fear, shun, and do cruel things to me. I am sheltered by the owner of the castle, my father and live peacefully, but I wonder how long that will last. Is there a way to live with this curse? Learning about these thorns may help. This is a log about my research. A thorn will grow upon a cursed human's body and it will absorb both time and colour. Objects that have their time and colour absorbed will remain static. For example, if the object is in mid-air, it will stand in I would stand still in my So kind of like everything's kind of stopped like in terms of time obviously the color being taken from it means that it's going to be stopped in time. Okay so it's going to be frozen that's the word for it. Static objects cannot be removed. The presence of color has some sort of power 
and the thorns that absorb the power may be the reason why certain objects lack the essence of time. So thorns basically are bad. Alright, that's basically what I got from that. Uh, let's go. So mouse wheel click for that. I'm going to use a mouse and like just these. And if I can use that, that's a lot easier than just using, focusing on the keyboard. Okay. What the fuck? So if I take in any blood or like get the blood, first of all the rose actually turns red, I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, um, but so the rose turns red and I get the memory of the person that was killed by the thing, object, which is where these boulders and the night helmet came from. Also there was a cute bunny in that thing, oh, cute but evil looking as well. Uh, well. Oh man, I don't know what to expect. I can't go this way. Uh, what will it start doing? Oh, with this I can move the boulder. Right. Okay. Alright, so I can take it back, I guess. Alright, right, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. If I had to jump again, I keep pressing space. Mm. But I guess space will do something in its own time. Take that back. I don't need any of that. If I remember how to jump, that would be great. Uh, but oh, so far the music is a bit creepy as well. This rock, I have mm. to move somehow. Oh, that's easy. Mm. I don't kind of expect that. What happens if I put a rock on top of her head? Let's see if I go through this one. Okay. So. I don't know what dropped there. Mm. If I can time it, maybe I can stop, take the blood off that, by the way. Maybe. Mm. There we go. Take it. Mm. But I need to get through the gap. Mm. Eh, this is no. Oh, actually, I don't need to do that at all. I thought I thought that was a genius strategy, but no, it was just a waste of time. I uh, got the blood though. That's good. Mm. That's probably useful. Mm. Mm. It also slows down time. It kind of feels like um, oh, what was that game with colours in it? Uh, oh, if it pops into my head, I'll put it on the screen. But uh, I forgot what it's called. Oh, it's going to annoy me. So regeneration power. Those who are cursed by the thorns will not be forsaken by the shining bud. When their bodies decay, they will be brought back to life below the blood. Alright, so this is kind of like a checkpoint, I'm imagining. Ah, oh, so... Oh. oh, man. Do I have to take the things from that? Because there's no way I can do that yet. I have to put this somewhere else. Wait, what? That tiny ass crack? Are you kidding me? And she just claps his face first. At least the blood's still trapped in her rose, but. Damn. Alright, put that back there. That's so how I can stop the other ones, right? And hopefully this time jump over that so I don't die again. Mm. Alright, now, yeah, no. There we go. Yay, that worked out better than I thought. Oh no, it's just outside of the jump range. 
Alright, put it back in. And I'll have to do that again. No. No. What's that there? Smart man moves. Come on, please. Yes. Got it. I want to go over the top way, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe I have to freeze it from the other side? I wonder, does she have a health or amount of time she has to do that? Because that's really like, hilarious, but it's really annoying as well at the same time. Like, I don't know like what her range is in terms of that. Yeah, I like that. But there was nothing underneath that then. Also, I could still look around like so. Uh, and talking about that, I could go back and check that because I forgot and I am in numbskull of some sort. Ah, oh, it's nothing I can see. Yeah, that's fine. 